Uh, dusting cards is very bad for you. That's why you need to clean them very often. I will show you the best way how to clean your graphics cards now. So you need to put them in the sink and uh, open the water tap and just, just give it a good wash. Give it a good wash to get the, all the dust out. Um, put some soap on. Also take the sponge and give it a good clean, a, a very good clean to get all the dust out. Now the mining will be much, much more faster and the cars will be much more cooler uh, when you have cleaned them very good. So give it a good wash. Uh, when all the dust is out, you know, it's very important, it's very important. Uh, otherwise you can burn your graphics card. It's very important to uh, dry them very well. Yeah, so now when it's dry, you can put it back on the mining rig. But this video is not about the cleaning the cards. Stay tuned. Guys, don't be trying this cleaning method at home. Uh, it's, it's very dangerous it's, and it's only done by professionals. You can damage your hardware or you can uh, damage yourself. So be careful, don't try this at home. Um, so yeah, as you can see the video title, uh, we are testing out today the uh, T9 miner uh, for Bitcoin uh, from Bitmain. Um, we will go through how to connect really quickly all through and also uh, we will test for the power and uh, see what noise is coming out of it. Um, I think it's going to be pretty loud as usual. Um, so yeah, there it is. Um, Bitmain has packed it really well as usual. Um, comes with a small wa uh, manual. Uh, also, also with the warranty 90 days um, from Bitmain. Um, it, uh, it, uh, but it, uh, it has a few features, you know, where the, the warranty doesn't work if you overheat the chips and if you try to overclock uh, these miners, you lose the warranty on them. Um, so yeah, it's very well packed as usual. Um, so do not get, get damaged in the shipping. It has uh, soft, uh, soft pads around it. So this is how it looks when you will get it. Um, it looks something similar to a D3 miner. It's like a little bit high. Um, it is higher than the S9 anyway. Um, and it says 10 and a half terahash on uh, the miner does. So we will test if it, if it does get the speed and uh, we will see uh, what power usage it does. Uh, you, will, you will need also a, a power supply. It's not, it's not necessarily to use the same power supply as uh, Bitmain provides, but you can use an, uh, a different also. But uh, they have enough connections, the PCI connections, uh, to connect the, uh, all the connectors. Because this... Because this... Um, because this comes with uh, uh, three hashing boards and each has uh, three six-pin connections. So you need, need uh, ten six-pin six connections where one goes to control, control board. So to connect it's quite simple. Um, you just put, put in the, uh, all the PCI sockets into the miner.
Okay, that's all of them are in. This is how it looks like when everything is connected. Um, now we will put the power cable in and uh, see that what power usage does and if, if there is any uh, uh, sound on it. Uh, we will also need a LAN cable uh, to mine, of course. Hello. So yeah, you connect the LAN cable to the uh, to the LAN port um, to start mining, and uh, w there's also a IP report button on the on the miner, um, which will uh, uh, get your uh, miner IP address. There's a special IP report tool. Um, you can see, you can hear the noise. It's like a like an airplane engine. You know, when, the, when it starts straight away. So there's no way you can keep this in your house, in your living room or, or somewhere around you. Um, you just couldn't take it for, uh, for a few minutes. Uh, your head will be sore and, uh, and ears also. Um, I will show you now how to uh, connect this. So you need to down download the IP report button. I will zoom the screen in. Um, so to get the IP uh, for the miner, you just need to click the start button on the IP report tool. And then you need to hold the IP report button onto the miner for a few seconds. And the uh, IP address should pop on the screen. Yeah, you can see we have the IP address of the miner now. Um, so you just use that um, IP address uh, to log in to your miner from the local network. Uh, you can see it finished with 4 or 5, so we type it in that. 4 or 5. And it will take you into the miner. Um, the uh, the uh, default username is root. And also the password is uh, root. You can hear the miner starts to hash. Um, like there's few few things you need to change. The first thing is miner configuration. That's the default setting what uh, Antminer um, has the T9 inside. It's connected, so you need to change the tool you want to mine. Also the username and password on the, all three sections. Uh, then you can see the miner's uh, status. Uh, it hasn't started to mine yet. Um, so it probably needs to uh, do a reboot. When you do the fill out the configuration file, you just click the save, uh, save setting, and that should save the setting for you and reboot the miner and start mining. We got it. We got it finally hashing after about 10 minutes of uh, booting up. Um, it takes quite a bit of time. I mean, setup is quite easy enough, but the, the booting of the Bitmain uh, miners is sometimes takes a too long time. I'll show you the power usage now. What does it use uh, from the wall? Uh, 1,420 watts, which is quite a lot for such a such a not as fast as the S9 miner, which used about the same same. Uh, um, same power, I will zoom this in and I will show you um, what exactly hash rate do we got from the, from the miner. So you can see it has totally uh, uh, 162 uh, ASIC chips and the total speed is uh, 10 and a half giga hash as, as usual, Bitmain is very accurate on this. Um, so yeah, that's probably you have to know about this miner that that uh, uh, they are quite noisy um, and uh, also they use a lot of power but uh, they still are profitable at the moment. I'm, I don't know how it's going to be in future because probably these like the the miners with the same chips is there all for a few years and uh, there is much more faster uh, chips, 7 nanometer and 10 nanometer chips released. 
so the miners will be much more faster. I would be very careful to buy the uh, S9 or T9 or the other, what they sell, the V9, which is, which is, uh, I think it's four terahash or something at the thousand watts, which is crazy. Um, I, I don't know why they released it. That probably is some kind of S7 miner. Just uh, put the labels on uh, with the a new model and uh, uh, new marketing and think they're gonna sell this. So yeah, guys, um, if you did enjoy this video or you found it valuable, share with your friends and hit that like button if you did. Uh, also, and also subscribe my channel if you haven't already done. And uh, see you on the next video. Bye.